Hi, I'm Dr. Kenny Livingstone, GP and Chief Medical Officer at ZoomDoc. ZoomDoc is an on-demand telephone, video and home visiting GP service. You can download the app from the App Store and connect to our GPs 24-7. In addition to our telemedicine and visiting services, ZoomDoc have also been supporting patients, schools and businesses with instant COVID-19 tests. This video is going to go through how to take your test. When your test kit box arrives, it will look a little bit like this. On the side, there'll be a unique test ID and on the back, there'll be three simple steps of how to activate your test. There is a QR code at the top, which you can use your smartphone and the picture functionality to scan the code, which will take you to the web address to start your activation. Alternatively, you can visit the web address, which is in the back of your test kit. Once you've activated your test, it's now time to carefully open the box. You can use a pair of scissors to open the box or a sharp knife. It is important that you're careful as the inside of the box is used to return your sample. Once you remove the outer covering, it will reveal a yellow and white box similar to this. I'd advise that you take all the things out the box and lay them on the table. There is a full set of instructions within the box as well that you can follow in addition to this video. The most crucial aspect before taking your test is one, accurately filling in your request form. You need to pop on your name, your date of birth, your address and your telephone number and most importantly the date that you do the sample and the time. This is very important if it's for travel purposes. The second most important thing to fill out is the small label within the clear plastic bag. It will have your first name, your surname, your date of birth and the sample date. This will stick onto the little test tube which will go back to the lab with all your details on. Before you take your test, you must wash your hands. After you've washed your hands, it's now time to take your test. Have a quick check of the instructions and it shows you clearly exactly where you're going to be swabbing. Firstly your throat and then both nostrils. This is your swab. Carefully open it where it says peel here to take the swab out. It is important that once you've taken the swab out, you don't touch anything else with the swab apart from the areas that are described within this video and additionally on the instructions. Now is the time to swab the back of your throat. It may be a little bit daunting and it can make you gag a little bit, but it shouldn't be uncomfortable or painful. A little bit like that. It's important that you swab all five key areas at the back of your throat to ensure that we get a reliable sample. After swabbing all five areas of the back of your throat, it is now time to swab each nostril. If you place the swab directly into the nose, in a horizontal position and go back two to three centimeters and turn it five times for five to ten seconds. You should only push as far as you feel a little bit of resistance. It should not be painful or too uncomfortable. After one nostril you do exactly the same with the other nostril. Again horizontally going back two to three centimeters and turning it five times over five to ten seconds. If you are performing the test on a child, you may need one of the other parents to hold the child while you're performing the test. Once that's completed, pick up the small test tube, carefully remove the, the green top of the tube. There is fluid within it, so make sure you don't drop this. You're going to place the swab directly into the tube and you need to turn it to snap off the outer part of the swab. Once that's come off, you might need to twist it a few times. You place the little green top back on the test tube bottle. Now you've completed your test. Once you're sure that the test tube is tightly closed, please put it back in the outer casing, which will protect it as part of returning it to the lab. This will go back inside the clear plastic bag and you place this back inside the original yellow and white box that your sample came in 
plus you're going to add in, and most importantly, the request form to go back with your sample. Please affix the Royal Mail Tracked 24 label onto the plastic envelope provided. Place the box directly into the, the envelope and seal it. This is now ready for either posting directly back to the lab or alternatively you can courier the sample directly to the lab which is opposite Euston station and is open 24-7. Once your test sample arrives at the lab, they will start analysing your test and we will email your results within 24 to 48 hours. Please download the ZoomDoc app to access our team of great GPs for either telephone, video or home visiting consultations. We realise how difficult it is during the COVID-19 pandemic to access healthcare. We're here to help. We're here to care.